New tonight, two parents say they have not seen their son since authorities took him to Tampa for life-saving medical care. And they're telling ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee why they took him to Kentucky, even as authorities labeled the boy missing and endangered. It's been two days since Taylor Bland Ball and Joshua McAdams have seen their three-year-old son, Joshua Noah McAdams. We just want him to be healthy, happy, and with his family. That's going to give him the absolute best care. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office telling media outlets Monday his parents failed to bring him to a medically necessary hospital procedure and refused to follow up with life-saving medical care. But they did not provide specifics. The family says their son had leukemia, and although they didn't give us any proof they say he's in remission and they were taking him to Kentucky for a second opinion. We're not trying to run from a case. There was nothing that we were trying to hide. We were just trying to seek the best opinion for our son. Catherine Drabiak, an assistant professor for the USF College of Public Health, says the state typically only intervenes during emergency situations. But that is absolutely the last resort. She says a court must follow strict guidelines before allowing the state to step in. But she says most parents want what's best for their child and says things can get quite tricky in cases involving medical decisions. Chemotherapy in itself um, has um, serious adverse effects and risks um, and there's been multiple studies on this and so um, um, it's worth scrutinizing if additional chemotherapy is actually warranted um, and I think that's something that shouldn't be overlooked in this particular case. The family is expected to be back in court for a custody hearing Friday. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.